Good morning, guys. I want to share something that's on my heart right now. Uh, we live in a very special, critical time. And what I see is a lot of Christian organizations, churches, Christian people veering away from the gospel and leaning more on worldly standards. We're starting to let the world and its ideologies and its suggestions and its demands creep into our churches, creep into our organizations, creep into our thought processes, tainting what the word of God tells us. Now, if we believe upon him, we are saved, but he has also called us to be holy as he is holy. And that does not mean we're able to adopt the ideologies of the world and do what the world says and act like the world and smell like the world. And they say, we're Christians. Well, I mean, we can, but how much weight are you carrying with that? How much weight are you really carrying with that? The weight that we carry as professing Christians is saying that we are carrying around the death of Jesus. And if you know as well as I do, the death of Jesus is what paid for our sins. That's a lot of weight. So whenever we're running around, we're saying this and we're saying that, and it's all worldly. We're ruining that weight. Ruining that weight. We need to hold the hold the word of God out in front of us and engage ourselves against what it tells us. As a man shall love a woman as Christ does the church, that does not mean that we can run around and we can look at all these women and we can flirt with all these women and we can have sex with all these women and then go home and try to treat her like Christ did the church. He didn't do that to the church. He died for the church. We have women who are thinking like the world and acting like the world and jumping on all these bandwagons that these these feminists are giving out. But the, what does the word of God say about a woman? Quiet, meek-spirited, submitting to her husband. But the world wants to taint that. The world wants to ruin that. We need to hold the word of God up as our standard for our lives, not the world. Don't look to the world for any type of acceptance because if you love Christ, they're going to hate you. Why? Because you stand for light. You are not standing for the darkness that they want you to be in. But what I see is more and more people veering away from that. And when you gauge it against the world, there's no difference. We are called to be different. So if you're listening to music that is creating in you something of the world, stop listening to it. If you're going to a church who is starting to preach more on culturalism than it is the gospel, run from it. If you're going to an organization that is telling you one thing, but you're seeing another and you're witnessing another and you're coming out a different product than what, what scripture tells us we need to be, run from it. Anything that is of the world, run from it. That is not what we are called to be. We are called to be holy as he is holy. We are set a path in front of us that is righteous, that is not following the world, that is righteous, that is not looking like the world, that is righteous, that is not sounding like the world, that is righteous, that is set apart from the world. Set apart from the world. Live your life as set apart from the world as we possibly can. We are here. We are part of this world. This is not our home. This is not our home. Don't act like it. Don't support the worldly views and don't let them taint your mind. That's exactly what they wanted to do. It's exactly what they wanted to do. We need more powerful men and women standing up. The older women need to be teaching the younger women how to be women of Christ. We need to be reading scripture to learn. Men need to stand up and be the men of God that the Bible tells us to be, that Jesus requires us to be. We should be striving for that heavy and whole 
wholeheartedly. We are to be righteous, not worldly. That's what's on my mind this morning, guys. A little bit long story, but that's my heart.